In Nigeria, an e-health startup has been expanding a medical insurance service that could see millions pay less for malaria treatment. The World Health Organization says Nigeria alone accounts for a quarter of global malaria deaths. And these deaths are mainly attributed to inadequate access to affordable treatment. Our correspondent Phil Ihaza reports from the nation's capital, Abuja. Sandy Akinsoya feels feverish and he suspects he has malaria. But he's not too worried because he and his family have signed up since April for a private telemedicine insurance platform known as Wella Health. I just spoke to a doctor now, so he have directed me to a pharmacy. So I'm going there right now to get tested and get my medication. I've been using their service for over time, so I know definitely I will get well soon. With a monthly subscription of just $1, Subscribers can access online consultations, rapid testing, and medication for malaria. This is one of Weller Health's verified pharmacies. A quick test shows Sunday is positive for malaria. He is then given his medication without having to pay out of pocket. More than 80 million Nigerians live in extreme poverty and can't afford to pay for tests or malaria, which usually costs around $6. The coronavirus pandemic has also been impacting the fight against malaria and has overburdened the country's health sector. The Weller Health team says the idea behind this service is to reduce the burden of malaria on national health facilities. We are taking the burden off general hospitals, teaching hospitals, so we are handling malaria. Malaria is not something that you really need to go to most of these government hospitals, so we are trying to make it easier for them. And we are also taking the burden off or actually helping primary health care centers because this is something primarily primary health care centers can do. Experts say many are unable to afford the cost of data for telemedicine and the likes of Weller Health will need to create more affordable platforms as well as sensitize people in rural areas on the benefits of health insurance services. There is a lack of um, synergy between people being aware of their insurance and people bringing their intent registering to have um, to having a policy with the health insurance. So this is where the challenge is and it needs to be looked into. Majority are below the poverty level, so they may not see the reason why they should get a policy of health insurance. The team says with more support from the government, they are hoping to reach more people in rural areas by expanding their current network of 1,000 community pharmacies and making their telemedicine service more flexible for low-income individuals. Study shows that malaria accounts for a lot of work hours lost in countries like Nigeria where the burden is high. The hope is that efforts by private health initiatives will go a long way to complement the government's efforts in reducing malaria diseases to the barest minimum so as to ensure a more productive society. Phil Ihaza, CGTN, Abuja.